Cassini, how's the last 24 hours been for you after this incident? Um, it's been pretty hectic. Uh, a lot of stuff on social media. Uh, all my friends and stuff message me, my family. It's been, yeah, full on. And how has this situation made you feel? How, you know, how, can you talk us through it? Um, yeah, I think it kind of took away from the special moment in which was me scoring my first A-League goal. Um, so it's a bit disappointing, you know, after the game. There was a lot of good messages, like everyone congratulating me and stuff. But uh, obviously a few that were a bit uncomfortable to look at and yeah, just takes away from the special moment. How did you find out about the message? Was it someone that someone told you or you saw it online? Yeah, uh, uh, my social media was full of all sorts of comments, so I didn't really look too much into them. But I just, I first saw it from other people posting it and it coming up like on my newsfeed, other people talking about it. I didn't see any of the messages directly to start off with. Is this the first time you've received any of these messages since you've been playing professional football? Um, yeah, playing professional football, it has been uh, the first time. Uh, yeah, I've received other stuff before, like directly into my inbox and stuff like that, but this is the first time that it's been like kind of out there for the public to see as well as me. And how have you learned to deal with these sorts of messages? Um, uh, it's, it's a tough one, like you never really get taught how to deal with these types of things. Um, I kind of saw the messages and kind of tried to move on and looked at all the positive things that, that came from that moment that happened. Um, so yeah, I haven't really been taught how to deal with it, but uh, kind of just try to push it, push it aside a little bit, but also uh, I'd like to speak about it because it's uh, something that's obviously not right and uh, people need to be educated about the situation so that it doesn't happen in the future. So what message do you have for the people that send these sort of things? Um, uh, I'd say that everyone just needs to be kind to one another and uh, promote love and not negative energy. You know, we're, we're all humans and we're all trying to do our best at whatever we do and giving people negative energy and making comments like that doesn't help anyone. What about your family too? So I mean, what's, what's their reaction to your mum and dad? Uh, dad? Dad doesn't know about it. He lives in South Sudan, so it's a bit hard to contact him. So um, he doesn't know anything about it yet. Um, but mum's kind of just been there to support me and told me that there are people that are just jealous and just to kind of ignore a little bit and focus on what I'm doing at the moment. I've seen it in other codes too, like AFL's been dealing with it. Is, is, is there anything that could be done, do you think, as a league body, rather than just you know, players coming out and, and you know, um, I guess doing what you're doing and criticising who, who does it? Is there anything that can be done broader, do you think? Um, I think just educating. Uh, kids especially because that's what uh, we grow up as kids and we kind of feed off what other people tell us and you grow up uh, being an adult and all everything you learn as a kid is what you become when you become older so um, just educating and just having discussions and talking about it and teaching people what's wrong and what's right and why that might hurt someone's feelings and why that person might feel a certain way when you say certain things so yeah lots of discussions and talks that Yeah, for sure. Um, I think sometimes we kind of just push things away, but uh, sometimes, uh, especially racism, is something that we should we should speak up about and um, talk about, so uh, everyone gets a better idea of if at all. I'm not sure if you're aware, but Bruce spoke yesterday about trying to get all the professional clubs in South Australia together to put blanket wide bands. What do you make of that kind of proposal? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Um, anything like that, a positive idea and could help some way, hopefully. And just, can you take us back to the night and just the theatrics of you scoring your first goal and the strut and antagonising the fans, just how much of a high were you on after the game? Yeah, it was, um, it was very exciting. You know, I came on and I almost scored straight away and I didn't, it didn't end up going to the end of the net, back of the net. And uh, when it did, I uh, just got a rush of adrenaline and. That's, it wasn't something that was planned before the game. It just happened in the moment. Uh, you know, I grew up supporting Adelaide and uh, the derby means a lot to me. So um, it was just an amazing moment and I felt like I should go over there and uh, give it to the victory fans. And what was better, the goal or the assist? <laughs> um, the assist was pretty good as well. Um, the goal was kind of a tap in, so I reckon the assist was better. I, it was a good moment for me, helping Stefan score his second goal of the night. And so then when you're up on that high and then you brought down to this low. As sad as it is, were you surprised that some victory fans or some fans decided to do this? Um, 
you know, I say I, I probably wasn't surprised um, after the celebration and the way the fans reacted in the stadium in the moment. I kind of thought that, yeah, this is where it might end up heading. But um, yeah, obviously it's quite disappointing. And I, I, I hoped that in the future, that this type of thing won't happen to the next player that celebrates like that or has a reaction like that. Did that reaction from the victory fans on the night spur you on for later in the game and doing that assist for Stefan? Yeah, yeah, you know, after I did the celebration, everyone was booing me and uh, kind of fueled me a bit more to run faster and work harder, so yeah. Obviously, you had a lot of support within the club. Has anybody else within the league reached out to you and looking you know, for support? Yeah, um, the PFA have been in contact with me and I've spoken to them and they're, they're here to support me and everyone at the club has been very supportive ever since it happened. Um, Jordan spoke to me the, the very moment that it happened and ever since then they've, everyone's been in contact with me and looking after me and making sure I'm alright. So I've got a lot of support from the club and my family. Yeah, yeah. Um, my mum's very supportive and she wanted me to speak out on a bit and I, I wanted to speak on it as well. Um, so yeah, I watched the, actually watched the Adam Goods documentary last night and that uh, Gave me a lot of motivation and gave me some ideas of why I should speak up on it. What's your brother made of it and are you looking forward to playing him on the weekend? Yeah, um, my brother, yeah, we spoke about it a little bit. Um, uh, yeah, we spoke about it and he was very supportive of me and yeah, I'm looking forward to playing him on the weekend. I didn't get to play him when we played last week. I sat on the bench for 90 minutes, but uh, hopefully this week I, I can get on the field. Is any, what are you hoping from this police investigation? What are you hoping happens if they catch the person um, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if they're going to find the person that's done this. So, and when they find them, I'm not sure really right now what I would like to happen to that person. Uh, I hope that they learn from their lesson if they get caught and uh, that they educate, someone educates them and they're spoken to and in the future they won't make these types of comments. On the celebration, I know a lot of people loved it. I loved it for, for one. I thought it was pretty ballsy. Did anyone at the club maybe have a quiet word to you about uh, going over to opposition fans like that again? Nah, um, everyone at the club loved it, I think. On the night, Jakobsen did have a word to me and told me to just keep my head calm and, you know, don't get too excited. But uh, I think everyone kind of loved it. Would it prevent you from doing, you know, these sort of celebrations again? Oh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, no matter what anybody says to me, I'm going to be me and uh, show my character. So everything that's happened is not going to stop me from doing it in the future.